Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Remember to give this video a massive thumbs up. It does help with the videos. So if you thought that it was going to be a quiet end of the month, um, and we were probably all hoping for a sort of reasonable quiet end of the month, Celtic news-wise, it's just been absolute mayhem. Obviously this morning's video when Aaron Moy left the building and then Celtic obviously bring it in another Australian this afternoon, which is, we've all known about that's been going to happen. We're going to look at the fixtures in a minute. And um, there's a couple of stories regarding Sorrow. One say uh, the Celtic star actually said that uh, Sorrow's imminent exit is the start of Brendan Clear on the decks. And then there's a site just said, just two minutes ago, Celtic blow as two million man performs a sudden U-turn on the transfer. Uh, Sorrow has reportedly performed a U-turn on his p potential move to Panathinaikos. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. But Chris Boyd's been talking about Celtic. Chris Boyd always loves talking about Celtic. And he was asked if Michael Beal would have preferred to play against Ange Postacoglu rather than Bren Brendan Rodgers. And he says, of course, it says um, the departure of the Celtic manager is probably the last thing that Beal wanted. He says they were closer to them towards the end of last season. They were closer to beating. Uh, they did beat Ange Postacoglu's team, albeit there was nothing there. He says, Chris Boyd, the madman, says there was games beforehand where you felt they were getting closer. But they lost. Sure they lost. Yeah, they did. They lost. Uh, so if Michael had been looking at it, it says with one or two additions, you could maybe push Celtic a bit closer. But Brendan Rodgers has came in and he's getting money to spend. He says, if you look at it, they're going to have three or four big signings coming in over the next few weeks. Celtic get the finger out because we all want the big signings in. Celtic did bring a sign-in. Was it a big sign-in? Marco Tillo joins from um, Australia uh, as a winger. Was he brought in? for the imminent departure of the player that we spoke about last night. The fixtures are in. Let's talk about the fixtures first of all. Obviously, we'll open the season at home. And we've obviously got the, the, the ones in Japan, uh, which is the 17th and the 22nd of July. So we're only weeks away from getting your first Celtic game, your little fixture. And then the up comes the James Forrest game. Then Ross County will open the season with Ross County on the 5th of August uh, at half past 12 kickoff. Raise the flag once again. Then we play Aberdeen away and then we're home at St. Johnson. And then the, the big one, the big test as they all say, is uh, play Safeco over at Safeco Land to play Rangers over uh, 12 o'clock kickoff on the s Sunday the 3rd of September. So that'll be a chance to put three points between them and us but let's jump forward to december because december is always the month where you kind of look at and you think if we get a good run in december uh you can kind of get that stretch you get through december and it's on the home front we start december on the second of december away to st johnson now i'm going to put out a prediction early on and uh, i think we'll probably we will win that one um hibs on the 6th of December, that's a quarter to eight kickoff, midweek game. That is at Celtic Park, that's at home. I'm going to put a win for that one, so that's the two wins already. Kilmarnock away, could be a tasty game, but I think we should win that. That Hearts at home, I'm going to say we're going to win that also. I'm going to say that we're going to win every game in December. Um, I think we'll go on a run at Livingston at home also on the 23rd of December. And then it brings back the, the, the crazy Dundee. Remember the Dundee riot, as the, the press <laughs> said it. It was nothing. There was nothing in it. Anyway, that's a 7.45 on a Wednesday night up in Dundee. Um, an away game. I'm going to say that we'll win that. And then obviously the, to end end the year, it's uh, Safeco. we we'll play Rangers at home on the 30th of December. The New Year game. This is actually against St. Mun on Tuesday the 2nd of January. That's an unusual one to have for the 2nd of January. So uh, tell me what your thoughts are about that. Right, we need to talk about this. This is the real breaking news today. Right, Celtic brought out that new top. And um, everyone thought it was maybe a bit of a... It's a nightmare. I mean, just look at it. They've tried to make it say it's like the old stained glass window. So I thought I would jump onto Twitter and it's always good to get the insights of people on Twitter. And fair play to Adidas, 
Adidas tweeted back to Celtic, new season ready on fire emoji. <laughs> so the first up, Adam says, sack the kit designer, I beg. And then uh, Adi Maguire says, you couldn't have just done this, uh, but it sold thousands. And then we scroll on and it says, come on guys, it says, uh, uh, D Maguire says, come on guys, even the guys in their bedrooms doing concept kits do better. This is very true. Some of the concept kits I've seen were far better than that top. Uh, both top and your tweet haven't went down well. I'll never miss buying a home kit, but I won't be buying the home kit this year. Disgraceful Celtic kit. Whoever signed this off, you need to hang your head in the shame. Absolutely horrible, says Martin. He says it's the worst I've seen. Uh, the hoop's plain and simple. I will not be buying. Horrendous effort, says Tommy Boy. Adidas should be ashamed of this. I'm def the thing is, is the, the Adidas gear that we've had in the past couple of years, it's been fantastic. It's been brilliant having um, Adidas doing our stuff. But this, Julie Scott says, is an absolute shocker of a design. How did you manage to balls it up quite spectacularly? Um... I'm surprised they didn't say battle fever. <laughs> oh man. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what you think about that top. Um, it is an absolute... It's horrible, isn't it? I don't know what the what they did, what they tried to do. I mean, new, the new balance top that was out a few years ago with um, the 50th anniversary was probably better than this one. It looks just looks horrendous. Look at the action. Look at the reaction, says uh, this post, and and it's just it's just made it, it's a disaster. It is a disaster. It ruined her day once even more. It hasn't ruined her day. It hasn't ruined her day at all. It's just a top. It is just a top. And then Jabber says you should be ashamed of yourselves. And then and there's another one here. Adidas UK, you should be ashamed of yourself. Our <laughs> green, white, and hoops are not something to play around with with your design team. Tell me what you think in the comments, because I think it's just absolutely honking. Tell me what you think about the new guy, Marco Tillo, that joined Celtic today. And he got a five-year deal. Um, is he a replacement for Jota? I don't want to get into the Jota whole story. I mean, even the madman that said Brendan Who has been getting in on that. And it's just unbelievable to think that Jota might be leaving and going to for that kind of money. Anyway, we spoke about that in this morning's video. Today's video is all about a brand new player and that horrible, horrible top. So just go on, tell me in the comments what you really think of it. Because me for one, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, why? Why? Just why? Adidas usually do really cracking gear and they've just, I hope they have the balls to change their mind and bring, <laughs> they can't bring it on you. When they see the sales are completely failing, Surely they'll change it. Surely. But on that note, Brendan Rodgers is going to get the guys together on Monday. Pre-season will start. The checkbook will be opened. And then uh, is the clear out of the, the clearing of the decks about to take place under Brendan Rodgers with uh, some staff ready to leave the building? Well, players, not backroom staff, because they're all staying. Um, it's going to be an interesting week next week. Let's just say that. And on that note, have a great day. Celtic fans all around. Great evening, sorry. Celtic fans all around the world.